What's going on guys? Big Tabo 110 here. And today I want to talk to you guys about a ROM called eROM. Now this ROM is focused on 100% privacy. This is a ROM that's been soft fork from AOSP and Lineage OS and made into what it is, what we call eROM. So right off the bat, you can see that the fingerprint reader is working great here. We have the home screen working nice and fluid. I know this reminds you guys a lot of iOS you know, with the global search on top, but you could also bring that notification, but rest assured, this is no iOS. This is still Android. One thing that I do find unique about the ROM is that it doesn't rely on any other services from any other manufacturers or stores. This ROM comes with its own apps and they've been forked to work for this ROM. They've taken everything that's good and everything that's that's considered bad, like trackers and too many permissions, they're taking them off, so make them work here. As you can see, we also get a shelf on the left screen, so you customize it and put whatever widget you want, kind of like the uh, Oxygen OS shelf. These are all the options that you could search for and have whatever widgets you like. To go back to the home screen here, let's go to the messaging app here. I noticed that this messaging app has a lot of neat features. For example, it has a schedule feature where you can schedule mess. I know maybe there is other apps that do this, but I only use messages from Android and I don't see that there. Also, it does have a night mode. It does have a ammo LED black and the dark gray one. So you could choose whatever you like. We also get a backup feature that I like. That should be a feature that every MMS app should have. The ROM comes with a app application installer, not an app store. It only has independent third-party apps that are mostly free, including open source application that can be found in other stores like Fdroid. Now these apps that come from this app store, they have a rating. They also tell you what permissions the app requests and also what trackers the app has. So you can decide if you wanna risk your privacy. Every app that is in this store has been vetted to make sure that every app has a rating and also has all their permissions listed and they have all the trackers that the app has listed as well so that you know what trackers are being used and how many by any app that you download. As you can see, not all apps are equal. Some apps have more trackers or more permissions. And as you can see by this app here, it has a ton of permissions. All right, moving on to YouTube. Somebody asked me in the comments if YouTube was working. Yes, it is working. I tried it and it's downloaded from the app store that comes with the, the ROM. So as you can see, it's working perfectly. No issues whatsoever. Now, moving on to the camera here, it, this ROM comes with an open camera and it's a really, really good camera because it uses both lens. The photos work perfect. The video, it works great too. No issues whatsoever here. Now, one thing I couldn't do guys was to test the refresh rate in the frames per second. For whatever reason, the browser that came included with the ROM, it was just giving me an error. I decided not to spend so much time since honestly, everything seems to be working nice and fluid. No really any issues here from me. Moving on to the maps. One of the great things about this ROM is that it comes with its own unique map and they do not use any of Google services or any of Google maps. That ensures us that we are hidden from Google and their services, and you don't have to use no personal account to access the maps like we do normally. That means that Google has no idea where you're at, where you're going, nothing. And the good thing about this map is that it's really, really rich in features. It has a lot of things that you might need from map app. You know, it doesn't come up short. It may not be as intuitive or easy to use as Google maps, and maybe that's because of muscle memory. We tend to just use that every time that we need to go uh, search for something. But I'm pretty sure that if you have this app, you would never 
have to use Google Maps ever again. You'll have everything you need here. Moving on to the settings here, we have the usual. You have your network and Wi Fi. We have our Bluetooth, everything that's usually in other ROMs. Uh, we do have the battery settings here, just like any other ROM, but the battery on this ROM is really, really good. Uh, it has great standby time, thanks to not having all those Google services running in the background. When it comes to screen on time, I was getting anywhere from five to six hours at most, but that's good enough for me. You know, I'm a heavy user, but I don't really play games on my phone anymore. So standby time is really great. Moving on to display here, we have a lot of options that we see in every other ROM. You have the style. Here you can choose what style you want. You want a light, you want dark, what accent color. These are the colors that you, have, that you could choose from. As you can see, nothing really changes here. Everything's still Android based and you do have other options like expanded desktop. Here you could make uh, some of the apps not show the notification or the bottom three navigation buttons. And we do have an ambient display here. You could turn it on like I have. I have it always on. And that's because I love to see my notifications and my always on display. Now, moving on to uh, sound. Here we have the usual. There's nothing new here. Everything that you've always seen in any other Android ROM, it's also here. If we go to security and location here, we find the screen lock, the pin, your fingerprint. We also get trust, which it tells us if the root access is enabled or disabled, your security patches. As you can see, we're out of date on the vendor. We are encrypted and we have other uh, options here. If we go back to accounts here, you can see what accounts you can log in. And one of the cool features about this is that whenever you log into an account, the ROM automatically spoofs Google services or Google servers into thinking it's a different type of device. So it doesn't even know what device you're using. I thought that was pretty cool. Now we also have accessibility for anybody that's wondering what options we have here. These are all the options. And if we go to micro G here, the micro G now this, we also get open keychain. Now here you could download your passwords and just open them and upload them there. If we go to system, we do have all these options like buttons and we do have the button and layout. We have long press actions. We also get our favorite long press for the torch. And we also get control the playback. Reorient the buttons for the volume. Show panel on the left for your sound options. As you can see, for you lefties, you could choose that. And you could also turn it off your righty and put it back on your right side. So, moving on to system profiles here, you can set up your custom profiles. And also, we have status bar. We have the same options as we do. Here, we could choose the AM PMs, the seconds, your clock position and the battery style with the battery percentage inside or just next to it, however you like. We do have our brightness options in the bottom too. If we move on to gestures, we do get our one plus gestures. So for everyone out there that likes to customize their phone with gestures, there it is. And as you can see, we are rocking the latest update from E, which is the August update. As you can see, this ROM comes with a lot of useful apps already integrated into the ROM. These are not bloatwares by any means. These are apps that are useful on your everyday use. For example, this ROM comes with a calculator, the calendar, the alarm, the mail that is based off K9, a music app, the maps, notes that you could sync to your e account, and even a, a task manager. All these apps have been softly modded or forked from their regular Android apps. They've been made to not track you in any way. It even includes a screen recorder, which I like. So guys, would I recommend this ROM? Absolutely. If you are one of those people that like to have their privacy respected and not have no company or anybody snooping on them, then yes, this ROM is for you. It's not for everybody. I got to tell you, it's not easy to just de-Google-fied like they say, because 
a lot of us are used to Google services. It's just something that becomes easier to adjust to. But I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of you out there that can use this ROM with no problems. And guys, like I said before, thank you guys for the support. Thank you for everything. And uh, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, guys, but it really, really motivates me and it helps me out. Let me know what you think about the ROM. Are you going to try it? Is it for you? Or do you need Google services? And uh, with that being said, guys, thanks so much again. And I'll catch you on the next video. All right, guys. Bye.